Hey, Shalom. First and foremost, I give all praise, I give glory unto Yahweh. Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakadash, the honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, peace and salutations to the Akiah, to the elect. They are scattered across the four corners of this earth, preaching his truth and faith and sincerity. Shalom. I'm the brush Shamala from the GMS using camp. The lesson is going to be going into basically how that us, you know, as humans, basically we don't have no control of our destinies or fate or things that we want to do or decide. All right, all of that is planned out by the Lord, and we cannot go outside of that, right? <laughs> and uh, the inspiration from this lesson comes from me, you know, having a conversation with, you know, someone I know, right? Uh, a, a Christian, right? I like to, I like to ask them certain questions, you know, I'll be subtle with it, right? So, you know, I'll, that my identity and beliefs <laughs> right, won't get found out, all right? It's exciting, it's a fun game for me to play, just to, just to question them on certain things. All right. And um, they believe that, you know, basically that the decision that we make on a day-to-day -day basis and what you want to do in life basically can override what the most out wants. Right. And it's crazy. So how can the most out be all-powerful? Right. Omnipotent. If we are not subject to his will, it don't make sense. So this lesson is going to be going into that very quick lesson. I shouldn't take long, but we'll see. This is Jeremiah 10, 23. Oh, Yahweh, I know that the way of man is not in himself. It is not in man that walk it to direct his steps. So the, the way of man, that's talking about like things that we do on a day-to-day -day basis, things that the type of personality that we were given or that we have, right, the, the actions that we take, right, Every day, how we respond to certain situations, how we think, it's not of ourselves. It's not in, the, in man that walk into directed steps. So, all of these things that we are doing is directed by the Lord. Right? Whatever type of person or that you may be, whatever type of spirit you may have, the Lord gave you that spirit. Right? And just like um, you have a computer or whatever. You are, a, let's say you are some type of technician. Right, you build the computer and you give it certain aspects and qualities and, you know, uh, you know, technical little things that it can do, right? It can't go outside of that. It can't do other than what you programmed it to do, right? It's like you have a, you, you make a computer and you make it a MacBook, which is an Apple computer. The computer can't say, or the laptop can't say, the next day, oh, well, I don't want to be an Apple computer. I want to be a, uh, a Microsoft computer. All right? I want to be a Windows computer. All right? You can't fucking say that. How can they do that? All right? You can't even, you can't, you can't. All right? And we are the Lord's creation. The Lord programmed us to be what he wants us to be. All right? Ultimately, the Lord's plans overrides what we plan to do. In life, this is Proverbs 20 24. Man's goings are of Yahweh. How can a man then understand his own ways? So, our goings, the things that we do, comes from the Lord. We can't understand, we don't understand our own ways. The Lord understands us more than we understand ourselves. All right, we don't have knowledge of everything, we don't have the knowledge of the Most High, unless He wouldn't be the Most High. Okay. We are his program, basically. All right. The Lord is the director of the movie. And we are just actors, right? And actresses, right, for the women, right? And the movie. And we obey the script that is written. And our lives have been written. Everything is written that's going to happen. In our life, and it's gonna happen like that to a T. There will be no mistakes. Right? There will be no, um, you know, like I said, mistakes in the Lord's script. Right? No hiccups. Right? Things are gonna go as planned. Right? Proverbs sixteen and one: The preparation of the heart and man, and the ash of the tongue, is from Yahweh. So the thoughts that you think, and uh, whatever comes out, right? That uh, whatever you speak, right? Those things are from the Most High. You didn't even decide that. 
right? We have some type of, um, I guess you could say free will, some t like a sense, right, of free will, meaning that we can go on with our daily lives not even knowing that we are being controlled, but we are being controlled at the same time. That's just the power of the Lord. You can go to sleep, wake up, think, do certain things. Oh, I'm gonna go eat this today. Oh, I'm gonna do this and that, right? And your and these people in your mind, they they, they think that they're actually doing this on their own, right? That's a sense of free will, but they are not, right? They're not. We have been controlled by a higher power. You see? Let me see. Uh, many devices. Proverbs 19 and 21, there are many devices in man's heart, nevertheless the counsel of Yahweh that shall stand. So there are many devices or plans that we think about, that we want to do. Everybody on the planet Earth, they got certain type of goals and achievements that they want to achieve, or certain day-to-day -day tasks that they might say, okay, I want to do this today, or tomorrow I'm going to do this, or the next day I'm going to do that. And none of that shit goes how they want it to go. Why? Because the Lord wanted something else to happen. It ain't meant for you. No, you going to do this. Right? Yeah, you say you talking about this, but that shit is irrelevant. What the Lord got written for you is what you are going to do. You see? Hebrews 12 and 9. Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh which corrected us, and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of spirits and live? So the Lord is the Father of spirits. So anything that our spirits do comes from him. He controls our spirits. He owns our spirits. We don't own nothing. We, the scripture said we are borrowing our spirit. Right? <laughs> this is a, a, a privilege <laughs> to even have our, our spirits. We ain't owed this. Right? It's not mandatory <laughs> or nothing like that. That the Lord give us life or let us live. He's all through the mercies of him. All right. Now, this is Proverbs 21 and 1. The king's heart is in the hand of Yahweh. As the rivers of water, he turneth it whatsoever he will. And we know that the heart represents the mind. So the Lord turneth the king's heart, kings, rulers, and even trigger on down to average people every day. All right? Even us. Our minds and the things that we want to do goes according to the Lord's will. Right and here it speaks about the king's heart. And I have an example in the book of Exodus. Exodus 7 and 1, dealing with Pharaoh. And Yahweh said unto Moses, See, I have made thee a God to Pharaoh. And Aaron thy brother shall be thy prophet. Thou shalt speak all that I command thee. And Aaron thy brother shall speak unto Pharaoh, that he send the children of Israel out of his land. And I will harden Pharaoh's heart, and multiply my signs and my wonders in the land of Egypt. But Pharaoh shall not hearken unto you, that I may lay my hand upon Egypt, and bring forth my armies and my people, the children of Israel, out of the land by great judgments. And the Egyptians shall know that I am Yahweh, when I stretch forth my hand upon Egypt, and bring out the children of Israel from among them. You see, so the Lord was going to... He, he, he let Moses know, hey, look, I'm going to do this, you see. You're going to go, you're going to speak to Pharaoh and tell him to let y'all go, right? But he's not going to listen. Why? Because I'm going to harden his heart, right? The Lord was going to give him the mind to not listen, to refuse. Pharaoh, you read these stories, I mean, yeah, you read this chapter. Throughout the right Exodus up until, you know, our deliverance out of that place, up to the destruction of, of Pharaoh and his army. He wanted to let us go, and he didn't want nothing to do with us no more. He said, hey, look, go pray pray to the Lord, and, you know, go to your power, and, and, and pray to him for me, too. But what did he do? He still went and chased them. Or chased us, you know, out of out of that land. Right? He came after us, and he died. Right? The army, they got, you know, drowned right in that sea. You see? Which is that, uh, that gulf, that gulf of Suez. Right? The Lord wanted to keep multiplying the, the 
the signs and and the wonders, the plagues, plague got to play. Those those ten plagues were destined to happen. Pharaoh couldn't tap out on the first the first two or three, even if he wanted to. Then you know that the Lord directs man's man's minds and steps. All right. Let me see something. So the word, the Hebrew word, is for the for um, hardened or right, strong. Eight seventy one eighty five kwasa, kwa, kwasha. It's kwasha. Down here it says of obstinacy to show stubbornness. So you gonna make this man stubborn? Not not listen. We're, even though he gonna see all these signs and, and and things like that, these plagues, I'm gonna I'm gonna make him stubborn and not listen to it. Make him not fear me. All right. Until the to I destroy him. All right. Everything is ordered by the Lord. This is Sirach 18 and 1. He that live forever had created all things in general. The Lord only is righteous and there is no other but he. Who governeth the world with the palm of his hand. And all things obey his will. For he is the king of all. By his power dividing holy things among them from profane. All right. Governed the world with the palm of his hand, and all things obey his will. So he governed the world. I mean, he's behind all the things. Like you have those certain dudes that control those dolls on the strings, and you know things and things like that. The Lord is doing that with everybody. Governed the world. <laughs> governed everything, all life, animals, everything that have life, man. The Lord controls. All right. It says, for he is king of all. <laughs> all right. This is Yahweh Paul omnipotent. All right. So, you know, that was the lesson. I hope it was edifying with that. I'm going to say, Shalom.